Time traveling, is it happening? Is it happening all around us? Is it taking place right now on YouTube? Well, according to Amir, yes it is, is. and he wants to talk about it. it so is. let me Thank tell you. you about it. Thank you. In the past year, there have been a sharp increase in the number of videos featuring self-professed time travelers to the video sharing site YouTube.com. Uh, the content of these videos are uh, the post are, are apocalyptic warnings, uh, and they differ from case to case. But they usually are uh, guys, sometimes with their faces blurred and a, a voice altering sort of thing going on, telling you about how they time traveled. Uh, there is uh, <laughs> there's one video which is apparently a 25 minute confession in which a man is wearing a rubber mask and doing a fake southern accent and he divulges the details of his secret trip to the year 2118 and it currently has over 7 million views. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, this is very serious. Amir actually. read an article from melmagazine.com, which is uh, titled The Rise in Self-Proclaimed Time Travelers, if you guys want to read along. And now we're going to make Amir explain himself. Amir, why are we talking about this? Because uh, it's cr it's awesome. Okay. This is, this is good internet right here. <laughs> okay. But at the same time, it's very concerning. Just, I watched a lot of these videos over the past few nights, and wow, people really buy into this stuff. So what... I, I need you to describe a little bit more about these videos. Okay, so it's it's basically creepy pasta. Like there there is like these two different websites that do it. The main one's Apex TV, and they create these videos. Like usually they're interviews of people from the future, and like you said, they blur out the people's faces who are doing the interview, and. People watch it like, and they either either willingly ignorant about it, or they they they, they totally believe it, mm -hmm. and they're like angry in the comments. They're like, "This can't be real! Like that's not how time travel works." Why? Well, another thing that they that they point out uh, in the article is that the stories are typically quite inconsistent. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, and that's the thing with time there's travel. There's a lot of things that you have to keep in mind if you want time travel. Time to travel actually is work. such an incredibly complex. Concept, you, it just, it, I'm, I'm, I'm boggled with. <laughs> yeah, but it's like. Without this is picking up, this is madness. It's, it's like I don't even know what genre to, to put this in. Like alternative reality entertainment, like augment. Not, it's not augmented reality, but like there's a lot of different things that I go in that I get the appeal to it. Especially if I was a younger person. Man, this would be so entertaining for me. So where where is the proof, or is there is there no proof? There, there, there is no proof, and that's why like I'm concerned that there's people that are like shouting in the comment section, right. like asking for answers, and like they they have to be like young young kids who don't realize that this is all for show because these videos are getting millions upon millions of views. And as and far as you know, are they are they still monetized? Yeah, they I mean, yeah. Why would they, not they were be? running ads on the videos, and so they're making a lot of money. And like they cracked the code on this. I kind of regret that we are making a pop trigger video about no. this because if we were smart, we would just make our own channel, this call it Grapex, blur out your girl's face, and then just be like, I'm from the future. This is what we talk like now in the future. So, what were the things that like stood out to you that you're like, nope, this isn't real. This can't be real. The whole thing. For me, for me <laughs> mainly, struggle. some of these people are coming from like two, three hundred years in the future, but they talk the exact uh -huh. same way that we talk right now. If you know anything about linguistics, you know that language changes within like fifty to sixty years. The way people talk. Like yeah. if if we were to go back to like a hundred years from now, like go back in time a hundred years, people would be like, "Why are you talking that way?" Like I've never heard anyone talk speak English that way. No, same thing. A hundred, two hundred years in the future, people are not going to be speaking the way we do right now. I mean, a hundred, two hundred years, not not even. We I, might not even be speaking English. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure, but also like look back at any you know nineteen forties movies, like look at you know the 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 golden age of cinema, and you notice that even just the cadence in which they speak is totally different, um, and yeah, so th that's part of it. I think that the biggest thing for me is the whole thing is sort of suspicious and I'm someone who look you know I love I will you know watch all of these I've watched everything on like the men in black um, I, I watch these conspiracy theories but I you, you don't buy in you kind of got to know that there is poison in the pudding yeah you can like admire the pudding for the recipe I don't know if this analogy works at all but I'm making it up like 
the, the, the blurry pictures of skyscrapers in the year 6000. <laughs> Why do you have to blur out the pictures of the sky? Excuse me? <laughs> But that's the thing. So there's a difference between this, these videos, and conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are somewhat grounded in reality, yeah. or like events that actually happen. Whereas these, they're like, okay, we know people like conspiracy theories. Why not just like make up an entire universe of them? Right, and, and it, like a whole storyline. It is really smart. It's really clever. It's good storytelling. And what they're what they're really clever in doing is that they make sort of soft predictions. Soft predictions are things that you can safely bet more likely than not 50-50 odds will happen. For example, many of them predict that Donald Trump will be elected to a, a second term. Or they not predict, they just say that from my yeah, knowledge of Because guess time what, and they space. know their audience. <laughs> their audience loves Donald Trump, so they're going to give that little tidbit to them and it's going to make them feel good and they're going to keep watching. Hell yeah. Uh, do you have anything else that you'd like yeah, to say? Yeah, like Do you like <laughs> Do you watch like stuff like this even remotely close to it? Because you sent me this one time a really weird comedy compilation video that was like two and a half hours long. Wasn't it just and mascots falling over? It That's wasn't, not the no, same. It was like a variety of things, and you were just dying, like laughing so hard. <laughs> And that's like that's like some weird YouTube stuff. And yeah. I know there's weird YouTube stuff out there. Listen, I won't say too much because I don't know where this video lives. But uh, back when your girl was a femme princess in Kentucky, uh, I participated in like one of these type of like I made a video for class with a couple friends where we staged it to look like I was on like security footage. It's like me and some Uggs with my long hair and like hoop earrings. And um, I'm like on a computer, and then they, my friend is like wearing a mask, and he like appears behind. It's like found footage of like girl before something, and it lives somewhere on YouTube. And so I understand the appeal. It's really, it's like it's easy storytelling. You don't need to have high tech equipment. It actually lends itself to to being a better story if you can make it seem more authentic and sort of you know found footage type thing. Yeah. Uh, that said, if you are watching um, these 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 time travelers on YouTube, just remember you know it's not it's not real. It's it's not real. Or just try to pretend like it is real because it'll be yeah. a lot more entertaining if you do. Ooh, yeah, either, yeah, but just just say pretend is the keyword. Just pretend it's real and yeah. buy into it and go down that rabbit hole and find the really good actors out there because we could be, what if one of these guys is the next Daniel Day Lewis? It's probably not. No, but, but like <laughs> the production value, it, you don't even like need to do that much to make these videos. Mm -mm. And they're making, they're getting millions of views.